Good evening, traders. This is Brian with TraderShark.com, an educational website to learn how to trade the E-mini S&P futures. The market opened up this morning at 1678, represented by this white dotted line. We generally don't trade from 930 to 945, yet we did have an actual pro range reversal. It's colored in yellow because I did not take it. Nice pullback into our moving averages. Continuation higher. We had news right here at 955, consumer sentiment report. It was within consensus range, so it really is pretty much of a non-market moving event. Found our overhead resistance, pulled back. Overhead resistance again was our moving average for a nice selling opportunity for a total of 20 ticks on that first trade. Actually added under our position here as we continued on through. Notice how our trigger chart continued to fire off to the downside. And then we had a final, actually third opportunity, fired off short, got out early as we found support down here at the 72 to 73 level. As we bounced off of that support level, we broke up through our moving averages, pulled back, had an opportunity where they're getting in here or even a little bit later, pushed up. It is still a counter trend trade until our significant levels are broken. So in that regard, only took six ticks on it, but the continuation was a nice move upward into our next no trade zone from 11.30 until 1.15 Eastern Standard Time. That's a period of time that I do not trade. Uh, in this particular case, we do know that approximately 70% of the time that no trade zone will tend to move higher. Coming out of the no trade zone, another opportunity to get long. Notice how we pushed up higher until we got back up to our overhead resistance level. Selling pressure, kind of a delayed two o'clock sell off. But we do know that on our time chart, on the trade plan, it does indicate that for us not to be taking any long positions. And once we had a nice clean setup to the downside, an opportunity to get into a three point pullback for a total of 15 ticks. In this particular case, price action pulled back up through our moving average again. This is almost a nice fib trade. Pull back, our auto wave actually fired off. Another target, one and two. I did not get into this trade. Going into the close, we had another opportunity, nice setup here, trend line break, continuation higher, and then on into the final close. I want you to notice we were talking about hitting an upside target of 86.50. I scaled out here at 86 even, primarily because of the, we were in a no trade zone, the final no trade zone of the day, 10 minutes before the end of the day, and then I just, uh, you know, it did continue to grind higher, 86.50 level. To learn about these and more advanced trade setups or to get a copy of the TraderShark trading manual, please visit TraderShark.com. Thank you. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you in Shark Den on Monday morning.